not so happy, a whole city. They're eight places off the bottom, but the girls against Column took a hammering, if you'll excuse the pun. Watford at rock bottom haven't won a match. They've lost all five at home. In Division 3, plenty of action for the rain-soaked crowd at Grimsby to enjoy. This is David Doria, the man who scored Swansea's goal at Bradford last month, and McDermott desperately close to an own goal. Some neat football from Grimsby, though, in difficult conditions. Cockrell, Reese, Cunnington, and Cockrell. The ball came just a little bit too quickly to him. Then five minutes before half-time, the Grimsby goal arrived on the wings of a monsoon. I doubt the crowd at the other end even saw it, but it's Dave Gilbert who punishes the understandable uncertainty in the Swansea defence. Grimsby increased in confidence after that, particularly Gilbert after his goal. And they really should have got a second here. Cockrell, and it's Woods in the way of the shot from his own man, and Swansea survive. And in fact, Swansea had much the better of the second half. This is Doria again with their best effort of all. Fully 30 yards. Steve Sherwood, though, alert to the danger. This was Grimsby's best effort in the second half. Gilbert again, what a difference a goal makes. His cross, and Alan Davis there to help out his goalkeeper. Grimsby won, Swansea nil. The Huddersfield Town bandwagon has rolled into top gear. Brentford, Rotherham's calamitous start continued with a defeat at Fulham. Grimsby, a mere two points behind leaders Southend, who won on Friday night. Huddersfield's tremendous week has rocketed them.